Tower. Tower USD is located on the main ramp, requesting permission on the taxiways Golf and Alpha. Erica McDonald works for the USDA here on Scott, preventing potentially fatal wildlife strikes to aircraft by trapping birds under the BASH program, the Bird Aircraft Strike Hazard Program. I have a deep sense of ownership of the program here and it's been really great to have the team here at Scott Air Force Base support what I do in trying to preserve aviation safety and Air Force assets. Pigeons are typically used to lure in hawks so they can be trapped and tagged. So this is one of our decoy pigeons that we'll use in the trap to attract the raptors to it and they'll spend a few hours in the trap during the day and then come back to their house at night. Set up this perch here that is frangible so as a hawk sees the bird and wants to get a closer look to decide if it looks looks like it should be lunch they typically land right here which collapses the doors down and the netting will hold them inside until we can come back and, and take them out since 1995 over 445 million dollars in losses due to wildlife strikes to aircraft have been recorded miss mcdonald takes her job very seriously the springs are heated up and weakened substantially uh, and the jaws are padded up. I actually use like ten tennis racket grip and tape to make sure that when the bird lands on it, they're not injured. So the trap is attached to this cable so that the bird can slide down and sit on the ground. And it's set on top. That way when he comes back to perch here, we'll have him. The traps are specific to raptors. Uh, usually it would be a red-tailed hawk or maybe an American kestrel. Scott Air Force Base has a lot of different kinds of hawks on site, including red-shouldered hawks, uh, Cooper's hawks, northern harrier, which also happens to be a state-listed species here in Illinois, as well as an occasional bald eagle or osprey. Under the BASH program, wildlife hazard assessments are conducted, surveying the local area once a week for local bird and mammal use. This is why it's important to kind of monitor not only the, the immediate airfield, but the, uh, the area around it to make sure there's no other hazards that are bringing animals any closer to the runway than, than absolutely necessary. So the nest is up there about three quarters of the way up the tree, though I'm not seeing the, uh, the young at the moment. This pole trap is specifically for raptors. So. We're going to set up another pole trap and see if we can get them to start using this as a perch in order to later capture and relocate them as well. I have to say that I really enjoy coming to work with the military. Uh, it's, it's a great family here at Scott and interacting with wildlife and working with the military has been a lot of fun for my time here. Scott Air Force Base realized the importance of the BASH program and has had the USDA position since 2011 because the 250 fatalities since 1995 is 250 too many. Airman First Class Nina Orlando, Scott Air Force Base, Illinois.